This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. With one week to go into Election Day, Ivanka Trump will make a campaign stop at Bay from Park in downtown Miami this afternoon. President Trump is expected back in town later this week. Former Vice President Joe Biden will campaign in Tampa and Broward on Thursday. This comes as hundreds of thousands of South Florida voters have already cast their ballots either in person or by mail. The last day to in person early voting is this Sunday. A Miami Gardens track and field coach is in jail accused of sexual assault. Police arrest at 45 year old Darius Lachey after one of his track athletes came forward saying she had sex with him 10 years ago when she was just 14 years old. She came forward after learning the coach was accused of molesting her little sister. Prosecutors fear there could be more victims and are urging others to come forward. Police say a triple shooting in Southwest Miami Dade that left three children wounded is an accident. Investigators say two of the children were playing with the gun when a discharge hitting all three. Police initially were investigating the case as a drive-by shooting. A 9-year-old, a 14-year-old, and a 17-year-old were all hurt and taken to the hospital. The 9-year-old remains in critical condition this morning. No word on how they managed to get the gun. South Florida Staple and Osbury Farm is back open today. People began lining up early this morning for their first crack at the cinnamon rolls and other baked goods. Customers will have to wear a mask and maintain social distancing while waiting in line. And just a reminder, Nosbury Farm is cash only. Now, CBS4 weather. Happy Tuesday. We're waking up to a dry, quiet start. The rain chance remaining low today. Happy to share we'll be enjoying plenty of sunshine, but it will be warmer and more humid. Highs will be in the upper 80s with a chance for just a few showers as we do have that breeze out of the east. More of the same heading into your Wednesday. Warm, steamy, high around 90 degrees Thursday as we heat up. And then Friday, there could be a few afternoon storms. Saturday, not as hot for Halloween. 86 degrees with just some stray storms. And we fall back Saturday night into Sunday. And that's it for now. You can always find us on CBSMommy.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all today's important headlines.